All right, so we're gonna start off today and we're gonna talk a little bit about Newman and then also specifically transferring to Newman and the process um, as well as some of the details that you may have questions about, including credit evaluations. Um, but before we get into that, um, wanted to acknowledge, obviously this is a, a very challenging time for everyone. Um, so if there's anything that we can do, we are all working remotely. Um, we can help with any questions you may have and we can talk more about your individual situation on the phone or via email um, and through these obvious, uh, these, um, these chats as well. Um, so please, please let us, let us know if we can help in any way, shape or form. And I completely understand if, you know, your dogs are barking in the background or you have kids that come in um, because we know that this is just not our normal everyday working or school experience. So um, please make sure that if you have any questions, let us know. You can either email us, call us at any time or go to our visit page at www.newman.edu slash visit and you can sign up for individual sessions um, where we can talk about your specific information. So we'll start off right now, talk a little bit about um, Newman University overall. Um, for anyone that doesn't know Newman, we're about 55 years old almost. Um, we were founded in 1965 by the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. Um, in 1980, we changed to Newman College and then in 2009, we changed to Newman University. Over those 55 years, we have grown significantly. We went from being a mostly commuter uh, school focusing on specifically nursing and education and have moved more towards that full residential experience um, as well as working with our adult and non-traditional populations as well. Um, so a little bit about Newman, you can see our numbers over there. We have about 2,600 undergraduate um, students on campus. Um, average class size is about 22. Um, but what this is really saying is that Newman is a small school. You're going to get that personalized attention from your professors, from your peers and staff on campus, and you're going to have a lot of that support around you. So if you're looking for something that is really personalized, um, that you really have those great connections that you carry on, not just uh, while you're in school, but after you graduate as well, um, Newman might be a good fit for you. So before I get into any of the academic side of things, as I was talking about um, that small school environment, I really wanna highlight some of the good things about Newman, which are our support networks uh, within the university for your school and also outside of that as well. Um, so with your uh, classroom sessions, if you have need help, have questions, we have a lot of different opportunities for you to get that personalized help that you would need. Um, so our Academic Resource Center is a great spot to be um, if you have uh, a need for tutoring or want help writing papers or need to um, address some disabilities that you may need accommodations for. Um, and then also just having that academic coaching if you are looking for someone to help manage your time and help you figure out how to really um, make sure that you're being successful, not just while you're in class, but outside of class as well. And then we have other different um, support networks on campus, um, our career and personal development. After you start to um, get towards your senior year or your last year at Newman, they're gonna help with your resume writing, your interviewing skills, and also those jobs and internship, internship searches as well. And then we have our wellness center, um, which I don't have listed on here, but if you need any of that support um, with your mental side of things or just need some uh, techniques to help you relax, um, they offer really great sessions on campus and also just a lot of different support throughout uh, the year to make sure that you are um, healthy all the way around, not just in the classroom as well. So if you're looking to transfer to Newman, um, this is what the application process will look like. Um, so right now you can apply to Newman by going to our website, go to www.newman.edu slash apply, and you can find the application right there. That's where everything will be housed in that application portal from when you start your application to when you actually start in classes in the fall. Um, so everything will be there throughout your application process. Um, right now you can only apply through the Newman application. We are not on the Common App for transfer students, so please make note of that. Um, but it's really simple to log into our webpage and start that application now if you haven't started it already. 
For everyone that is or has started an application, just so you're aware, we are rolling admission. Um, so that means you can start an application today. If your application is completed by the end of the week this week, um, you'll be reviewed and um, as little as two days after your application is completed. So you'll be able to get that decision very, very quickly. Um, and we are making those decisions throughout the entire year. Um, optional items that we could uh, expect um, or that we would recommend. Um, the Phi Theta, Cap, uh, Phi Theta Kappa membership, which is um, a, an honor society for our transfer population from community college. Uh, if you don't know what that is, feel free to look it up or reach out to your advisors at your local community college about that membership. Um, then we could, uh, you could submit a resume as well as an interview. Um, and then I do recommend a campus visit once we are able to get back on campus. Um, but if you would like to set up those individual appointments, we are absolutely here from you. Both Christine and I work with our non-nursing transfer students. And then we also have another person on staff very specifically um, that works with all of our transfer nursing students. But he, all any one of us can talk to any transfer student. So please feel free to reach out. Um, and that last person is our assistant director, Josh Bittler. So to review your application, what we will need are your official college transcripts from every school that you've attended. Um, so even if you attended a school, you know, 10 years ago, we still are going to need that transcript. And when we look at your application, we will create a, um, a GPA that is combined from all of your schools. Um, so just be aware of that as well. And we will need, if we see any places that you take a, a class, so if you took one class over the summer at a different university, um, make sure that you um, send us that transcript as well. And if you don't see it, then we will, um, we will make sure to reach out to you to let us let you know that we need that transcript as well. Then we need a Dean of Students form. This is specifically if you applied as a residential student on campus. This Dean of Students form is separate from uh, your academic standing. This is to make sure that you're in good standing um, in the university in that, in that other world of social um, and making sure that there's no other issues on campus that we need to be aware of. Really simple, that will be housed in your application portal as well um, and would be one of your checklist items that you can fill out and you should be able to access that right from your checklist. If you have any questions about that form, don't know where to access it, please reach out to us individually. We can send it to you via email as well. And then any student that is um, a first semester freshman, so if you're looking to go to community college and then transfer to Newman afterwards, um, we need that form um, and that is just a way for us to review you while you're in classes without having a full semester's worth of credits completed and grades. Um, so again, if you are questioning whether or not that applies to you, feel free to give us a call, let us know, and we will we'll help you out and let you know exactly what we need from you. And then prior to enrolling, if you have less than 60 credits, um, we will need your official high school transcripts. Um, and then also any credits that we take or any applications we review with unofficial transcripts currently, we will need those official transcripts and any updated classes that may be in progress. So we can give you credit for all of your credits that you've taken at your institution. So once we review, um, we automatically review you for a merit scholarship. So for transfer students, those scholarships range from 10 to $15,000. And that is your first merit scholarship. And there could be also additional financial aid offered on top of that scholarship amount. Um, and they are based off of your GPA at the college level. Um, so if you have any questions about that, we can give you an idea of where you stand with those scholarships as we're going through the review process. So for some of those other scholarships and grants that you could be eligible for, um, we do have an on-campus grant. If you're a residential student looking to live on campus, that's an additional $3,000. We have a legacy award for any student that's brother, sister, mother, father, direct family member that has attended and graduated from Newman. Um, please make sure to note that on your application um, because you will be qualified for a legacy award. And then any students, I know we mentioned Phi Theta Kappa earlier today, but any student that is a member of PTK uh, does qualify for an additional Phi Theta Kappa scholarship. And all we need from that is we need your Phi Theta Kappa membership card. You can scan that, email it to us, um, forward it to us, 
any way to get it to us, just make sure that we mark it off on your checklist as received, and we can make sure we add that additional scholarship to your um, financial aid award letter. Um, one thing that's brand new as of this week, we are now part of Raise Me's micro scholarship program for our transfer students. Um, so please take a look into that. We do have some partner institutions that are utilizing Raise Me on the transfer side. Um, but if you have questions about how that program works, please let us know. Um, we'll make sure to answer those questions. But it's a great opportunity to help you understand what kind of scholarship you could qualify for based on the work you're doing at the community college level. And we know some students have been part of Raise Me as um, first year students, so maybe at the high school level, it now carries over and you'll be able to see as, as you transition to a transfer student, how that will, uh, will work on the transfer end as well. So please feel free, jump in, join Raise Me, um, and that's another great tool for you to use to see that scholarship side of things as you're applying to Newman. Just a quick note for anyone that's uh, listening in that is part-time or is second degree, you are not qualified for any of our merit scholarships, um, but you can still apply for financial aid. Um, so just be aware of that. Unfortunately, the merit scholarship doesn't carry over unless you are a full-time, first-time bachelor's student. Um, once we're talking about financial aid, obviously talked about this, the scholarship side of things, uh, the financial aid side comes next. So we know most of our transfer students have completed a FAFSA previously, um, but for anyone looking to apply or complete their application for the fall of 2020, you will need to fill out the FAFSA again. You have to fill it out every single year um, and you wanna make sure that's for the 2020 year. For any of our part-time nursing students that may be applying for summer, we actually need FAFSAs from both years. So this current year, which is 2019-2020, you can forward that on to us for your summer classes, and then we will also need your FAFSA for the next year since you do span two different academic years starting in the summer. If you're questioning about how um, how to what the cost could be, um, the net price calculator on our website is a great tool to use. You plug in some information and it'll give you an idea of what scholarship you could qualify for and what the out-of-pocket cost would be at Newman. Um, this is a great starting place, but if you have lots of questions or um, haven't submitted your FAFSA yet and you've already applied, I would say go ahead, submit that FAFSA, complete that application, um, and make sure you get all the official information so we can really have an in-depth conversation about the cost. Our Newman code is on the bottom of this slide, so feel free to write that down, take a look at that, um, and then if you need anything, please just let us know. All right, so we'll jump in a little bit here to our credit evaluations. So every student that is admitted to Newman as a transfer student will see their credit evaluation included in their um, admit letter once it's mailed to your house. It won't be part of your email package or admit letter, it'll be part of your uh, mailed letter. So you can actually see that um, in, your, in your house in a hard copy. Um, this may be a little bit hard to see just because it's, it may be small on your screen, but don't worry, I'll break it down. And if you wanna see this, we can email this out to you. Um, and give you an idea very specifically for your major. This one is for education. Um, again, don't worry if you're not an education major, we have it for all majors and we can send yours very specifically to you. And I'll go into the individual pieces as well. If you are questioning what credits will transfer in prior to applying to Newman, maybe you're looking for next year or a year in the future, spring semester, what we can do is we can do in admission an unofficial credit evaluation based on the credits you have so far. Um, so if you have one year under your belt or even not a full year yet, or you're looking to finish your associate's degree at the end of May and you're still currently taking courses, we can do an unofficial credit evaluation right now and tell you what credits will come in and then also how your courses in progress will come in. And then for our students that want to apply for a future term, say the spring of 2021, we can also help advise you on what courses to take that you need to come in using this form. Uh, so if you don't know what to take in the fall or you want to plan your courses because you know you're coming in to Newman, um, spring of 2021, you just have to make sure you take a couple final courses to get your associate's degree. 
we can help you plan to make sure any courses that you're taking are coming in as either core or major specific requirements at Newman. So please utilize us that way. Um, we love helping students plan um, and making sure that we minimize any credit loss that could happen with the transfer process. One last thing, we do need your transcripts with the final grades. I did mention this before, but if you have any courses in progress currently, um, we will need those transcripts, those final transcripts after the courses are completed to give you credit for any courses in progress. So a little bit about, I broke this down. Obviously you saw the whole picture previously. This is just the core requirements. Um, so your typical liberal arts core requirements are listed there. Some majors have very specific core that they require so that Psych 101 that you see, Intro to Psychology, um, could be specific to a major. Overall core is actually a social science. Um, so a number of different majors could have different social science requirements. Um, this one is just a psychology. So every one is a little bit different based on what the major requires specifically. The two courses that you're required to take at Newman are Philosophy 102 and Theology 104. Those are the two courses that we want you to take at Newman um, because they're very Newman specific. Um, but you can take your second level theology, which is your 200 level or higher, as well as your second level philosophy, a 200 level or higher at your current university um, based on what's offered. So again, questions, send them all our way. So after you look at the core requirements, there could be additional allied requirements that you need to complete as part of the major. The one that I have up here is a, an example from our bioclinical lab science program. Um, this does have a lot of those allied requirements that are not major specific. Um, so don't be scared by all of those words. I don't know what half of them mean. Um, and I don't expect our non-science majors to know what they mean either. But some other majors that do have these uh, major specific allied requirements are business majors, have a cohort of courses that are for every single business major. And then there's a breakout of ma major specific requirements as well. So if you are a cybersecurity major, you have your general business requirements as well as your cybersecurity major specific courses. Um, nursing has that same allied health courses that are needed to take. Um, biology is similar to this as the cl clinical lab science. Um, and then some majors actually require a minor as well. And that could be where your minor specific courses are located in this allied health or allied um, course listing on your credit evaluation. So next steps in the process, you have applied, you've been admitted, you've gotten your credit evaluation, we've talked with, through, uh, talked with you through any courses that um, may not originally come in and we talked about how we get them in by going to the dean of the department or um, going to a faculty member um, to make sure we get those courses evaluated effectively. Now the next thing to do if you're definitely coming to Newman is to reply to that offer of admission. So right here, this is directly from our website. Um, so if you have any questions about how, um, how to deposit, we can help you with that as well. Um, but first thing to do is reply to offer of admission. That's right here. So you can see this form. You can see I accept or I decline. So if you're coming to Newman, you want to accept. Um, so you accept that offer of admission and what will happen when you refresh that, it will prompt you to make this deposit. You can. Uh, obviously send it as a credit card. Um, you can click that link and it'll go right, right to the credit card payment. Um, and then if you want to send us a check, you can absolutely do that as well. Um, stop in once we're back on campus and drop off a payment. That's absolutely fine too. Um, but any one of our counselors can help with this process. Um, doesn't have to be any of our transfer specific counselors. So just call our office um, or email your counselor and we can answer questions that you may have about the deposit. Couple important dates for everyone that's looking um, for 2020. Um, just be aware our summer semester for our part-time evening nursing students does start on the 18th of May. 
And currently those courses are going to be all online. Um, as we go through this process, as things change with our health emergency that's going on right now, we will make sure to update you on any changes that may happen um, now into the future, just so you're not questioning, are my classes online? What's happening with this event? But we will make sure to communicate any changes that happen um, directly with our, our incoming students. Um, for the fall semester, our mandatory transfer specific orientation will be held on July 28th. Um, we do like all of our transfer students to come to that orientation. It's a great way to connect to our transfer um, cohort of students um, because you're not alone. You are a number of students that we have on our campus and we want to create that experience that you can all share um, your stories about that transfer experience. So please definitely put that on your calendar if you're coming, um, attend that orientation because it will also get you connected to all of our um, a support services on campus and all of the people in person that you can go to if you have questions or need some help once you're a student here at Newman. Then our classes begin for the fall, uh, August 31st. Um, so that's the start date this year. Um, and we hope to be back on campus and ready to go um, once we get to that date, which all expectations is that we will be. Um, but obviously we'll keep you updated with any changes that happen as they happen. And that's the end of our presentation. Um, as you see, my contact information is here. Christine's is here. Either one of us can help you with anything that you need. Um, but wanted to get to a couple questions. We have about eight minutes left. Um, so any questions that um, have come up, we wanna make sure that we answer them. So Christine, anything? Nothing yet. All right. Great, well, don't forget, you can absolutely reach out. Um, we can answer any personalized questions about process, application, decisions, credit evaluations, financial aid individually, because um, I know this is a very individual process for everyone. So thank you for taking the time out today and watching our webinar. Just a reminder, this is our first webinar, so um, we hope we did okay. Um, but if you have any questions, let us know, and we look forward to having those conversations soon. Oh yeah, thanks for a thumbs up. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, and hopefully, um, if you need anything else, uh, please let us know. Thanks very much, and have a great day.